From the 24th to the 29th of June this year, the Indigenous Education and Research Centre here at James Cook University once again hosted its annual winter school. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students from years 10, 11 and 12 from communities all around Queensland gave up a week of their school holidays to come to Townsville, live in college and get a taste of what university is like. Students who participate in the winter school get to choose a discipline and spend a week acting as though they were a student in that discipline. This year, 13 students chose to participate in the discipline of law. It was my privilege to be their lecturer for the week. The theme for the week was law done by us, not to us, with an understanding that our community's laws will only reflect the aspirations and experiences of First Nations people if they have knowledge and passionate champions. The students spent a week covering much of the content of an undergraduate criminal law course, and then on the final afternoon of classes, it was off to the Cullinane Moot Court in JCU's Townsville City Campus. I had the fun of sitting on the bench, funny wig and all. JCU undergraduates volunteered to be the defendants and witnesses, and our Indigenous Winter School students played the role of lawyers, making a bail application, conducting a criminal trial, and making sentencing submissions. Legal practitioners and court support staff from the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Legal Service came along as well to act as the students' coaches for the afternoon. And the students were brilliant. The hard work and effort that they'd put in all week preparing their arguments and their speeches came to the fore, and the moot that they conducted really wasn't much short of what we would ask of undergraduate students. Our university is the place where Eddie Mabo learned that his people didn't have title to their lands. And our university is where he found his first allies and took the first steps towards changing the fundamental nature of our country. Our university produced the first Indigenous Supreme Court judge in Queensland, Justice Lincoln Crowley. Last week, you didn't have to look too hard to see where the next generation of passionate and compassionate advocates were going to come from. I had the best week. What a class of 2024. Can't wait to see you back here as students. <laughs>